What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard the Cinemaholics train. My name is Spencer Henderson, and I am a Cinemaholic. My name is Ryan Gordon, and I am a Cinemaholic, and I apologize in advance because I'm having a lot of technical difficulties on my end. But to figure out all those problems for us, we also have a special guest today who is... Brent Robison, and I am also a Cinemaholic. And today, we are talking about a film that you've probably heard about, unless you're living under a Ragnarok. Ha ha ha. Uh, okay, so we're talking about <laughs> Thor Ragnarok, good. which is directed by Taika Waititi, um, who probably would have appreciated that genius pun I just came up with. But um, the plot summary on IMDb is, Thor is imprisoned on the other side of the universe and finds himself in a race against time to get back to Asgard to stop Ragnarok the destruction of his homeworld, and the end of Asgardian civilization at the hands of an all-powerful new threat, the ruthless Hela, played by Kate Blanchett. Um, So let's start with Brent. What did you think of Thor Ragnarok? I'm going to start off with my opinions on the first two Thor movies. The first one I thought was a pretty good movie when it came out, and I mean, I even watched it recently. I thought it was a pretty good, visually nice, nothing too groundbreaking, just all right. The second one was was okay. Like, I enjoyed it, not a favorite at all. And when I went back and rewatched it a few days ago, it just seemed like a very rocky movie. And um, honestly, because those movies weren't as good as the other um Thor as the other Marvel movies I wasn't really looking forward to this one throughout the year this one was down on the bottom of my my anticipation list um the trailers helped bring it up a little bit but quite frankly when I walked into the theater I was totally blown away by just how incredibly funny it was by how visually very interesting it was and just how just how everything worked well together this was easily my favorite Thor movie of all. And um, definitely one of the really good Marvel movies, um, one of the really good Marvel movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's a lot of good ones. I don't know where I'd rank it yet, but it's I. it was very enjoyable. Just all the character interactions were just wonderful. Everything just played off each other perfectly. It was just a blast of a movie. Um, just like, Seriously, one of those, just like one of the funnest times in the theater. That's awesome. I um, personally, for me, um, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because I've had um, a lot of anticipation for this, mainly because of Taika Waititi. Um, I think he is a brilliant director and he's got a lot of um, personality in all of his directing. He has a very specific style and tone and I'm glad that Marvel was able to step away from themselves enough to let him make this a Taika Waititi movie um, because that's the huge standout honestly. Um, I personally have never seen the first two Thors so I don't know besides trailers like what the tones really were but just judging off of those trailers versus seeing Thor Ragnarok completely different tones um and and it kind of this is this may sound controversial or whatever it kind of reminds me of old dceu versus what they're trying to do now kind of a dark um kind of more serious tone versus now the light-hearted like hey this is working for those guys let's give it a try um but i i do i think it works on every single level um I, I really enjoyed this movie. I wanted to avoid saying the word fun in my review and reaction because that's what everyone is literally saying in all the, their reviews. But that's because it's so true. This movie is just fun. You walk out of it having a good time. Honestly, for me personally, it wasn't anything new in the sense that I wasn't completely blown away. It wasn't amazing. The best Marvel movie ever. But it delivered with everything that I expect from a Marvel movie at this point. So Spencer, what, what are your thoughts? Well, um, yeah, I think it's a little too soon to say if this is the best Marvel movie or not, but I was completely blown away by Thor Ragnarok. I was not a fan of the second Thor movie. I was pretty mediocre on the first Thor movie. So having seen nothing on this movie, I walked in kind of just like 
uh, like, I don't know what this one's going to be. Like Ryan said, the thing that got me stoked for this movie was Taika Waititi. And this movie is so much fun, which I know Ryan says it's a dirty word, but sometimes you have to call things what it is. And I have no problem calling a movie fun when I have fun watching the movie. I think that literally this is my, it's definitely my favorite Marvel movie since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. Um, I think that this is exactly what I kind of want in a superhero movie, which is kind of a little bit ridiculous and silly and doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's really jokey. I really thought the humor in this movie was hilarious, particularly the um, character that Taika Waititi played, whose name, what was his name again? Korg, I think. Korg. Yeah. Yeah. He stole the movie from me he was so funny <laughs> every single line that came out of that thing's mouth was like the funniest thing i'd ever heard and i also really like the way they handled the hulk in this movie and the way they introduce him and this was hilarious like the whole gladiator match with thor and it's like kind of it it became this kind of like buddy movie between thor and the hulk and they also had other cameos from um, other Avengers and other members of the MCU universe that were done in a pretty clever way that I really enjoyed. I was blown away by this movie. I thought it was pretty fantastic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and score this. This whole movie is littered with this kind of humor, which is, like I said, Taika Waititi. He owns this stuff. He has a flair, and he himself is funny. He was in What We Do in the Shadows, and he's in this. Um, I think he might even have a cameo in Hunt for the Wilder People, but... um, yeah, he's just an, an, an awesome guy all around. I'm going to go ahead and give this an, an 8.5 out of 10 raccoons. I uh, definitely suggest that everyone check this out. Um, Brent, what would you rent, or what would you score this? I've been debating that right now. I'm going to go about I'm going to go with what you just gave as well. I'm going to go for 8.5 raccoons as well. Well, shoot. I was going to go for that too. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to do it as well because I'm not going to go nine, but I'm going to give this 8.5 raccoons as well. Um, I think that, yeah, if if you enjoy good movies, you should just go watch this because it is a total blast. Like, I love this movie. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And go back and watch more Taika Waititi movies. He's a really talented filmmaker, as Ryan said. And all of them are like this enjoyable. So definitely go back, revisit this guy's work, and check it out. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter and uh, Stardust and Letterboxd at Spinny Hen. Ryan, where can they find you? Um, follow me at all the same places. That's going to be Stardust, Letterboxd, and Twitter at Rye underscore Gordon. Um, and make sure you know follow the Cinemaholics on all of our channels. Subscribe to us here for more awesome reviews. What about you, Brent? Um, the best place to follow me at is moviepro08.blogspot.com. Still somewhat traditional. Awesome. Sweet, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're excited to do this. We're excited to have Brent on the show. Um, we're we're going to be amping things up. I know we keep saying that, but we're definitely pushing this way. I personally am in the midst of moving, and it's been a hassle, and so I apologize for the late review and the crappy quality on my end. But subscribe anyways, and comment down below. Let us know what you thought of Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok.